Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my Clipper faithful. It's so exciting. We've waited months and months, and today we are launching Quest One of Adventure Three Constructing, Building Clipper Topia. We already have almost 400 people in the audience. We started about 10 seconds ago, but as we like to do, because we are going to give back money from the early access ticket sales back to the community. Let's start things off with a giveaway while we let people trickle in. So head over to hashtag Ahoy. That is the resident spam channel. You don't need to spam it. You just need to react to the giveaway bot, which I'm gonna start right now. We're gonna start G create. Hopefully it works. It didn't work at start last time. We're gonna have it last for 35 seconds. We'll have one winner. The prize will be 25 Matic. We are celebrating the launch of Quest One. Submitting it, starting it now. 35 seconds for, how many people we got in chat already? 540 people. All that you need to do is react. I'll put it over so people can see. All you need to do is react to, by the way, I'm recording on YouTube so uh, people can see the video. We got 15 seconds left. All you gotta do is click that button for a chance to win yourself 25 Matic, and then we're gonna go through the instructions for Quest One, and also an orientation about, you know, what adventure is all about. I'm excited, guys. I didn't even have a script plan. I'm just, we're gonna wing it. We're going through this thing. Okay, four seconds ago, the winner is... Nikita Polyakov, congratulations. Go ahead and message me privately. DM me with your wallet. Once this call is over, I will send you your 25 Matic right away. Thanks to the early access ticket providers. Like we said, that money goes right back to Admiral Dow, which is here to support the entire community. So we're gonna give it right back to you. Let me go into the main deck, make sure that everyone can hear me. And we're going to... It looks like, looks like we're good to go. So let's get into the agenda. As always, if you have a question, go ahead and at me. Where should I have you guys at me? At me in the AMA channel. That's probably the best place for me to see. People, people, can you pause the chat during giveaway? I don't know that I can. Oh, you know what? I could. I'll put in, I will, uh, I'll put in slow mode. That's a good, that's a good suggestion. So for the next giveaway, we'll do that because we got people going crazy in here in chat. Here's the plan for our chat today. We're going to do tons of giveaways. We are going to orient you all about uh, what Adventure 3 is about, how you get your information, all that kind of stuff. We're going to do a brief narrative intro. They're going to go through the instructions for Quest 1. If you want to read along with the instructions, they have been posted in hashtag Adventure three announcements. I'm putting that in main deck. I'll put it up in YouTube. You can just scroll up and read through. Read through and ask questions for me and at me in main deck. Oh, pardon me, at me in AMA. And I will get to all questions. Mad Cultist says, awesome AMA so far. Thanks a lot, big guy or big gal. Let's just go ahead with pirate. Let's just call you a pirate. Ashton asks, what are the difference between adventures? It's just when they happen. Adventure 2 happened um, in May, June of 2022. And six months later, we built a whole new story coming at you for Adventure 3. We're going to launch them, try and do them every three months. And uh, stick around and be a part of it. I see that you're part of Golden Galleon. Uh, okay. And my head of design has just messaged me saying if she needs to come talk about the design guidelines, let me tell her you can come up on stage in about 15 minutes to explain design guidelines or I can do it myself. Drew, we are talking about you live and in person. Let Guys, let's get to it. Guys, girls, pirates, I'm just so excited. So we are now part of Adventure 3. Adventure 3 begins where Adventure 2 ended. If you remember in Adventure 2, six ships, the Amaranth Argo, the Golden Galleon, the Flying Dutchman, the Fleet Elite, the um, Bloodsail Bandit, and the Sapphire Sphinx all went to Adventure Bay because the mysterious spirits had called them there. And we found that the spirit captains had been locked in a tower. And over the course of a month, all the ships competed to release their spirit captains. They succeeded. At the end of that, you have just freed the spirit captains, Jason, son of Asin, 
heads the Amaranth Argo. Ching Shi sails at the foredeck of Bloodsail Bandit. D. Fi Jones captains the Flying Dutchman. The Owl Spirit Dao Shi Tong flies above the masthead of the Fleet Elite. And King Midas rests his golden glove on the wheel of the Golden Galleon. Here you can see the images, beautiful artwork of Jason and the High Elf Priestess Mora Moonsinger and DeFi Jones, King Midas, Ching Shi, and Dao Shi Tong. Beautiful artwork to be purchased as Captain's Tradings cards. And weary from weeks of adventure, the six ships find themselves sailing alongside one another. Once bitter enemies, an uneasy friendship buds between the once warring factions. When the tides and currents could easily cause ships to change course and part ways, they seem to continue to sail together. The abundance provided by Clipper Coves has allowed Clipper Pirates to create a more advanced seafaring society. You can see that in this gorgeous image right here. Look at all those lights hanging all over the place. So once wayward voyagers, the Clipper Pirates have begun settling into their coves in earnest, anchored by bountiful yields and the stabilizing effects of Clipper's core pool. And while competition continues to run hot in your veins, each pirate's crew is focus is now to come together and peacefully determine how to create a lasting, prosperous pirate nation. So that brings us to Adventure 3. In Adventure 2, you competed and warred with one another. In Adventure 3, we are going to come together to build Clippertopia. You'll still compete because it's hard to give up that competitive fire, but we're going to build together. So after six months from June of 2022, now along in this unsteady alliance, the spirit captains have a powwow. They come out after hours of tense negotiation and they announce to Wild Cheers, we will build together. The very next suitable cove that they find, all ships drop anchor, but years of competitive fire do not die easily. Pirates scurry off the ship and quickly stake ground, always looking for the best spots for their own ship. For example, we, the Bloodsail Bandits, champions of Adventure 2, we will be responsible for building the tavern. Oh yeah? Well, we, the Argonauts, we can do it better, and we'll build the blacksmith too. On and on, the ships quibble, confident that they and they alone know the best method for constructing this new society. And look, they begin the building. And finally, it is resolved that all ships will have a chance to build their image of society. Each ship will put forth their nomination, and the society as a whole will decide together democratically by voting. Society can begin. So, what... Instead of just fighting to see who builds the blacksmith, all ships say, okay, this is what I think the plans for the blacksmith should look like. This is what the tavern should look like. This is what the port should look like. This is what the voting hall should look like. Everyone builds their plans and we'll vote for the best one, which brings me, us to your instructions for quest one. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do another giveaway. So head over to the AMA channel. I'm going to put it in... Let's see, can I stop chat real quick? Yes, I can. Just give me a moment. So we'll go to Ahoy. We're gonna change the permissions. Great suggestion by people, people. <laughs> We're gonna make it so everyone is, cannot send messages. So hopefully we'll see a flood of messages stopping right now. Perfect. It doesn't look like that has worked. <laughs> But um, here we go. G-Create. We're building it right now. Guys, don't spam. Look for the thing and click on it. <laughs> or if you're a, a very competitive pirate, you're going to spam so people don't see. But here we go. We're going to make this one last 40 seconds. We'll have one winner. We're going to do 25 Matic. And we are celebrating about to tell the instructions for quest one. Here we go, submitting and click that icon as fast as you can. How many people we got in chat now? Let's go ahead and save that. 27 seconds left. We got 57 entries. We have a 
thousand. We have a thousand people in chat listening to this right now, listening to instructions. It's so exciting. Go ahead and we got 15 seconds left to 106 entries. So it's only 10% of y'all. Um, okay. I'm getting a lot of message requests and we have four seconds left, three seconds left, one second left. And our winner is... Cryptocoinism.eth, go ahead and message me privately. We'll make sure that you get your 25 Matic. Congratulations. Let's get to the instructions. And let's go through these beautiful artwork. Here's Clippertopia, the Advanced Seafaring Society. I'm looking at the images in Adventure 3 announcements. Here's the captains deciding that we will build together. Let's shake hands and hold hands and build this society together. This is them finding the cove, beginning to build. And here they're going to vote on their plans. This is what your treasure chest looks like. So now we're gonna get into the instructions. So head to Adventure 3 Announcements. As I said, if you go to Adventure 3 Login and click Login, you can see what your, you'll see that your treasure chest will soon be unlocked. This is a blurred out image. In week three, this is going to be revealed as your profile and inventory screen. And we're going to populate this profile and inventory screen with, I think there's a, something like 75, 75 badges to earn and a few items to purchase. And you're just gonna build out your treasure chest. So that's the point is you're gonna be earning ways to display these NFTs, earn points for yourself and for your ship and you earn those points by um, earning these badges and NFTs. So for week one, what we are asking you to do is to design 10 of those pieces of artwork and we're going to vote on the winners. So week one, so quest one is two weeks long and week one is creating the content and week two is voting on the content. So there are 10 categories which we want you to submit your artwork for. They are the Clipper Sponsor, the Helper Doctor, the Translator, the Gunner, the Code Breaker, Adventure VIP, Meme Smith, Adventure 3 Pirate, that's what you get for completing the adventure if you don't get kicked off, Clipper Creator, and Adventure 3 Champion. That's the unique NFT that only the winners will get. So you, the Clipper community, the Adventure 3 participants, the Clipper 3 Pirates, Adventure 3 Pirates, you get to design those images. And if, well, we're going to talk about how you do it. You know what? I think now is a good time to bring up Drew. Drew, if you are on the main stage. Oh, did you come up on this? You're already there. Let me open up chat and unsuppress your mic. Okay, Drew, raise your hand so I can bring you up. We're gonna bring, so we're bringing our head of design. Here she is. Can you unmute yourself? She says her mic is suppressed. Let's, we're gonna figure this out. Can't unmute. Guys, this is Drew Tozer. She is our lead design. She does so much, all the artwork. We're gonna find a way to get her to be able to we're gonna just give her some permissions is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna unmute, um, we'll give her this. Okay, see if you can unmute now, Drew. Well, I don't know what the issue is, but what, we're go what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead without Drew, poor thing. It was wonderful to have you up on stage. I will do a sound check next time. I don't know why you don't have permissions because you're one of the biggest deals in the whole Discord server, so that's okay. We're gonna have Drew step off the stage and I will read what the design guidelines are. So Drew created these design guidelines. You can use whatever digital tools you have available to create an original NFT for each badge. AI image generators like Midge Journey and Dolly are encouraged. The guidelines are you cannot use any logos or promotional text in the image. This includes Clipper's logo. Do not use any images that are not yours. Do not use any inappropriate imagery. And images must be square, JPEG, PNG, or GIF 
Uh, I always forgive it's GIF or GIF. I go with GIF, apologies. And it's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. So what you can also do is read in the description in Adventure 3 what each, uh, what each particular category is for. So for instance, Gunner, people were awarded that in Adventure number 2 when they won their Adventure of Battleships Bay and got to lead their ships to battle. But these are warriors that are first into battle and lead their ship's strategy when warring with enemies. We last heard tales of their daring do in Adventure 2 when gunners led their ship's cannons in the Battle of Adventure Bay. So please use that for uh, inspiration. And you can see an example of how you submit. You will go to your respective art channel. So Amaranth Argo will submit in AA art submissions, Blood Sail Bandit will be in BB art submissions, and so on and so forth. And you can see, for instance, I've made an example for you. I've given myself the role of Fleet Elite. So Floss 2X Daily submits in the FE art submissions. And I wrote, this is my example submission for Quest Art Contest for category number four, the gunner. And I put it in there. And what you individual ships will do in your respective art categories is you will vote up, give a thumbs up to the ones you like the best, and your captains have devised a specific method to award the winners of their respective ships. So there are 10 categories and six ships. So over the next week, each ship in their own category will be submitting art for each of the 10 categories, right? And then the captains are going to select, so Blood Sail Bandit will say, okay, this is our best sponsor nomination, this is our best helper doctor, this is our best translator, all the way through category one through category 10. So Blood Sail Bandit will put forward 10 pieces of artwork, one from each category. The same thing with Amaranth Argo, Fleet Elite, Flying Dutchman, et cetera, et cetera. So all six ships will put forward their 10 best pieces of art from each category. Then in week two, we're going to put up Twitter polls and people are going to vote, okay? So there's two, there's kind of two stages. In the first week, you, it's not necessarily competing, but it's putting forward a lot of artwork within your own ship and you and your captains will choose the best piece of artwork from each category. Then, and that's all within your own ship. Then in week two, you are going to compete your best artwork versus the other ship's best artwork. And the best winners, the winners of those Twitter votes, those will actually be the official NFT badges when you award them in week three. Okay, uh, are there any questions on this so far? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to get to the scoring. People are adding me. Oh, I, why can't I just share the screen? I suppose I, I don't, oh, so Hardest Bong asked why can't I share the screen? Can't share the screen in a main stage, but go ahead and watch the YouTube video afterwards because we have all of the video there as well. And people are adding me an AMA. See if there's any questions. Okay, great. So now we're gonna talk about scoring. Again, this is all in Adventure 3 announcements, so you can read along with me, and you can always at me or your, question, or your captains with questions. So the way scoring works is gonna be based on participation. So the first week, when everyone is submitting in their individual ship's channel, it's gonna be based on how many people in your ship submitted. So for instance, explanation by example, ship A, we won't give a certain name, let's just a random ship, they have 2,000 pirates. Now, 1,500 of those pirates submitted artwork. They have a participation of 75%, and so you can go to the participation award kind of ranking numbers, and you see that 75% will get you 7,000 points. So the ship will start week one by getting 7,000 points for their ship. No individual user points just yet. Now, Additionally, the ship that has the most participation will get an additional 750 points. So say that ship that had 75% participation, no other ship had 75%. They all had 74% or less. So ship A is also going to get another 750 points. That's week one. So at the end of week one, they're going to have 7,000 plus 750, 7,750 points. Then in week two, when all of the art is going head to head between the ships, let's say that ship A wins three of those contests. Now one, 
each of those three pieces of artwork will then become the official NFT badges for whichever category they want. They will also get an additional 500 points for each one that they won. The, the person who created the artwork that won, they will get an NFT badge called Clipper Creator, Clipper Creator and they're also gonna get 75 Matic for their hard work because we wanna give a bunch of money back to y'all. So, let's go over it real quickly again. Week one, start submitting artwork in your channel, your respective channel. One artwork per pirate. You can't bump your participation by submitting 40 pieces of artwork. It's one artwork per pirate. So look at the category that inspires you. You say, I don't really care so much about helper doctors, but I love code breakers. So go ahead and make yourself a code breaker artwork and submit that one. And hopefully you will have, your ship will have 100% participation and pieces of artwork in each category. The captains will choose by Friday at midnight their 10 respective pieces of artwork that they want to put forward to compete against all the other ships. And then we will go into voting next week to find out who are the winners. At the end of next week, we'll announce the results. We'll give out the ship scores and we will launch Quest 2 with new instructions, new ways to win, new ways to get yourself NFT badges. This week is all off-chain and Quest 2 will be more on-chain, and Quest 3 will be both off-chain and on-chain. Okay, any questions? With our 1,223 people listening, we're gonna go to AMA, see if anyone has any questions there. Can you get kicked during Quest 1? Okay, so there will be one point in which you can get kicked, and that's gonna be the end of Quest 2. So if you don't find yourself to be like great you know, and not you're not really great at art. You don't have to submit art. However, the participation for your ship, your ship score is going to go down if you don't participate, basically. So, you know, submit something. Go out there, look for mid journey, look for Dolly, be as creative as you can. Submit something so that your ship can get the most points possible. Uh, but you can only submit one, so choose wisely. There is a time during the adventure where you can get kicked off for not participating. So you can't just ride along and think that you're going to get a bunch of NFTs at the end because you're not going to. You actually need to participate in Quest 2. But I'm not going to tell you what's in Quest 2 until we get there. So hang on and wait for the mystery. Okay, what points gives to a person? Okay, so Erwin asks, what points give to a person? So in Quest 1, all of the points go to ships except for... If you are the final winner, the overall winner for your category, you are going to get some individual points, which also go to your ship, and you're also going to get some Matic. So basically, the ship's points are the sum of all of your individual points. And then the ships also have ways to earn points by themselves. And then your individual user scores will persist after the adventure. So uh, your ship score is all of the users together, but you keep your user score for after the adventure. So you wanna get your own personal user score high. There's no way to earn user score points in week one, in quest one, unless you are the final winner. So 10 people will earn points from um, week one. In later, in later quests, quest two and quest three, every single person can earn uh, individual user points. Okay, let's do another, let's do another giveaway. We're gonna do another giveaway in hashtag Ahoy. We're gonna create it right about now. We're gonna make this one a little bit bigger because we've got 1,200 people in audience. We're gonna make this one last 45 seconds. We'll have two winners. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll have two winners. They're each gonna win 35 Matic and celebrating ending instructions for quest one. Submitting now. A lot of spam. You don't need to spam. Just click it. We got 1,200 people in the audience. Uh, go ahead and click it. And I got no entry so far. Guys, click this. What's going on? Oh, it doesn't work. It's already ended. Did I mess it up? I probably did. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do another one. No problem. Let me let it end officially as it says, and then we're gonna just go ahead and do another one. Five, four, three, two, one, zero entries, zero winners. How sad. 
Here we go. We're going to do it again. Stick around. <laughs> I see pirates are getting frustrated that everyone's chatting so much. Okay, here we go. Guys, please don't spam if that's at all possible. It's not possible. It's too exciting. I get it. Here we go. 35 seconds. Two winners. 35 Matic. Quest one, ahoy. Submit, here we go. It's created. We got some entries. We got a lot of spammers. We got 1,200 people in chat. Bumping up on 50 entries. While that ends, we're gonna wait for people to ask me questions. Let's go. Who is gonna be my excited pirate winners? Oh, while we're at it, why don't I tell you the stats? Um, well, we got seven seconds left and then we'll go into the stats. Five, four, three, two, one. And the winners are, show me a winner. Crypto Rada and Nikita Polyakov again. Wow, congratulations. Okay, uh, message me and we'll get you your stiff. Any questions, message your captains, message me. And go ahead and start submitting artwork because we want to see all the good stuff. And next time we'll make sure to figure out why, uh, why Drew couldn't talk. But it was wonderful to have you. Thank you for being part of the adventure. Uh, we have almost 30,000 people signed up. Probably that means about 6,000 people per ship. It's really exciting stuff. You have great captains. We have great artwork. We have a really fun story for you. If you have any questions, make sure to go to Adventure 3 Announcements. The instructions are always there and ask your captain's questions in chat. And with that, I am going to bid my 1,200 users adieu. Talk later. See ya. Bye-bye.